96.5, number one for hip hop and R&B. It's Kirby Gwen hanging out with a very special guest today in the Power Studios. Ravon is here. Welcome to the Capital City. I've never been here before, so it's really cool. All right, so how are you feeling about it so far? It's we a little bit just, chilly. We just actually got here. It's cold. We just said, um, we were talking yesterday, and we were saying that I'm from L.A. I was born mm -hmm. and raised there, and 60 degrees is freezing for us. It's like, get the big coats. And for you guys to say, oh, we hope we get 60, that'll be good. It's like, uh -huh. it's crazy for us. Yeah, I noticed you got your nice little patch beaded all down. I was like, it ain't that cold. <laughs> You're from L.A., so that explains exactly. everything. Exactly. So, Raymond, mm -hmm. I'll let you adjust. Are you, are you, are you, are you having fun? I am. It's been a it's been a long road. Um, I've been on the road. I'm doing my promo right now, so I've been on the road for like a month and a half, and um, I got to go home for six days, which mm -hmm. was amazing. But I of course had to do work that I couldn't do when I was on the road, so okay. it was like I didn't get to rest or anything. But I was happy I got to see my family, and now I'm back out for like two and a half more months or so. So you went home for was that like the Easter weekend? No, I missed Easter by missed one day. Okay. I was like, and it felt so close. I was like, I'm so close to Easter, uh -huh. but it was cool. I had my girl Twy with me, so we we've been best friends for forever. So okay, yeah. that must be nice though, like to have your best friend to be able to travel with you. Does it now? Do you make like are you guys still like best friends? Or do you like girl? Can you, let me get that bag. Can you? Am I looking right, or do you kind of make her your assistant? Oh no, it's like we do it all. So I'm like uh -huh. Twy, what, what should I wear? I'm like, put on my clothes. I don't feel like it. Right. <laughs> Or you know, like what should I put? What should I put on? Or anything? And she, she does my role managing, so uh -huh. it's like it's like a, it's like, it feels like a family. Mm -hmm. That is so wonderful. Uh, you're single. Better be good. Speaking of friends, mm -hmm. watch the video, girl. Can we go out? Let's go hang out. Let's, let's go roller skate. Let's go get a drink. Let's do it. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like to work with Wale on that song? It's really really cool. He's just so laid back, and I feel like I tell everybody he's like the epitome of mm -hmm. cool. Like he just walks in like, hey, what's up? You know, he's just cool. But um, working with him was really dope. Um, he actually did. Uh, the feature while he was on the road, so we weren't in the studio at the same time. Mm -hmm. But he came to do the video, and he came in for a couple hours, and it was just—he was like really busy. He was like, "I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it happen." So it was really dope. And we did it in LA. So awesome, awesome. Yeah. So I have to be honest. Mm -hmm. I knew about you a mm -hmm. long time ago, but it was way before I heard any of your music. Mm -hmm. Went on Google. I was looking for a short haircut. You came up standing next to me with that hair laid, honey, <laughs> laid. I mean, most girls had that long head and red bottoms. You rock the like the shortcut so confidently. Thank you. Well, I cut it. Um, I'm like I like to change my hair up a uh -huh. lot. And I, when I cut it, I used to do like different colors. I had like a weave and curly, mm -hmm. you know, like straight, all the all the above. I've had it. Uh -huh. And I cut my hair, and everybody was like, "That's the look for you." So every time like I get bored, I'm like, "Okay, I think I want hair now." They're like, "No, no, no. You don't need to go back to hair." So I color it now. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll stay short, but I'll change the color. So I had orange hair a couple weeks ago, and now I have red. Okay. I switch it up, but I love short hair, and it's, it gives me, like, a little edge, and it's fun. And, you know, I can do whatever I want. Well, yeah, girl, we need to call Dark and Lovely. Somebody get you well, I need to make somebody's hair burn. Yes. <laughs> you know, get you with some of them hair books when you go to the shop. Well, know? that's crazy. Right. Exactly. The crazy thing is now, like, when I post any pictures, like, on Instagram uh -huh. and social media, people, like, comment, like, um, who does your hair? Or, like... I've seen people take pictures, like I just cut my hair thanks to you and I mm -hmm. put a picture of me next to them. It's really dope, like I really love that. Mm -hmm. People can, you know, kind of get ideas off of me, so. Mm -hmm. Well, like listening to your music, you seems like it's just all you. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like you're putting up a front, trying to be nobody, it's just all you. What's it like to just be able to just be 100% Ray Vaughn? I love that question because that's my whole movement, what I'm trying to do, just like, I don't want to be anybody that I'm not. I want to be myself and I want mm -hmm. to share the stories and things that I've been through and you know I want people to know that I've been through the same things they've been through my whole thing is like women empowerment and bringing women together because we're emotional creatures and we love so hard we yes. forget about ourselves when we get in relationships so all the ladies have to remember we need to tell these guys that they have to be good to us yes we forget about it you know we forget about our value and our self-worth and so that's what my whole my whole movement and all my um, songs are about it's just you know not male bashing because I love me some men <laughs> I do, but you know when they're not treating us right, we gotta we gotta step up and not make excuses for them and let them know that if you're not gonna treat me right, I could be gone. Okay. Well, I definitely agree. I feel like it comes through. Again, I did have a chance to check out uh, the sample here. Nice. Oh, girl, I couldn't get past four because I kept wanting to start over. Back over. <laughs> I just start and I kept playing it over and over again. You have your tracks. What's your favorite uh, out of everything on here? Oh, this is the um, the mixtape. Yeah. On the mixtape, mm -hmm. uh, my favorite is Me and You. It kind of gives you that A bit, that, 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 that um, <laughs> L.A. feel, like uh -huh. that. Um, and on the album, I have a couple favorites, but one of my um, favorites right now is called Best Friend. Okay. 
which is um, it's about being in a relationship with your well, not being in a relationship, having a best friend, mm -hmm. and your best friend being in a relationship and you being in love with your best friend. This is all if true anybody's story, ever been through it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So, what do you who do you hope to work with in the future? Like I said, you work with Wale. You know, uh -huh. we see that. Well, on this album, I was really excited because I got to work being a new artist. I got to work with so many amazing artists from Jump. Mm -hmm. So I worked with J Cole. I worked with The Dream. I worked with Babyface. Mm -hmm. I worked with uh, Marsha Ambrosius, Eric Hudson, Andrea Martin, uh, John and John Legend and Fab are featured on the album. Um, I got to work with so many dope people, but if I could choose people to work with, I would definitely have to say um, Beyonce, of course. I love Beyonce. Are you feeling bow down? <laughs> I actually am. You? Sometimes you have to tell people you need to <laughs> bow down. You gotta let them out. You gotta let them out. Um, I love Beyonce, Adele, and they're both my label mates. Mm -hmm. um, would love to work with both of them. Uh, and I think. For the ratchet side of me, I love to work with Rihanna because sometimes you got a little bit of ratchet in it. You know, that's all that pull that. Watch it all fall down. Exactly. Um, I heard Neo asked you if you were crazy. I want to hear more about that uh, story. He did, he did ask me. Okay, so that's how I kind of met Neo. So when I, um, I used to do demos in LA mm -hmm. a lot. So I was like the known LA demo girl. So anybody from Rodney Jerkins, Sam Waters, Rico Love, Jim Johnson, everybody would call me to come do a demo. And um, I would go in and they would write a song, I would cut it, and they would pitch it to an artist. Mm -hmm. For all the people that don't know what a demo is. So um, I did Energy for Carrie Hills, then I did uh, Love Like This for Natasha Beddingfield. I did a lot of stuff for a lot of different artists. And um, I used to sing background on Glee. So one really? night, yeah. yeah. So one night I was leaving a Glee session, uh -huh. and it was like 10.30, we had been there all day, and um, I was really tired. So I got a call from a producer that I used to do demos mm -hmm. for, and he's like, Ravon, I really need you to come do this demo, I know it's really late, and I'm like, yo, I'm tired, can we do it tomorrow? Right. I'm really tired, I just left another session, so he's like, well, the writer won't be here tomorrow, so I'm like, okay, I'll just take one for the team, I'll come uh -huh. in, so I went in, and the writer was Neo, Okay. and that's when I first met him, I had never um, bumped into him before, never crossed paths or anything, I didn't go in to like work with him um, for myself, it wasn't like, oh, I'm giving you my demo or auditioning, it was like, I'm doing a demo for another artist that you're working with. Mm -hmm. So I did the demo, he asked me for my information, I'm like, yeah, right, Neil's not going to hit me, you know, he's like, I want you to do some more demos, so right. I'm like, right. Before I got to my car that night, he texted me like, hey, this is Neil, lock me in, I'm going to be calling you to do some more demos. I'm like, alright, cool, we'll see. Right. A week later, <laughs> he calls, he hits me, he's like, yo, I need you to come um, do another demo for me, and this was like during Grammy week of 2011. Mm -hmm. So I go and do two more demos for him, and then a week, about a week after that, he hits me, and he's like, so... What is it? Like, what's your problem? Are you crazy? Are you a psycho? Like, what's your problem? Mm -hmm. And me not really knowing him well, I'm like, well, don't come at right, me like, like that. Like, oh, right. like, what is it? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, you don't know me, right? right? And so um, he's like, well, you know, all of these um, top uh, writers and producers, all these record executives know who you are. How come nobody's ever tried to sign you? There has mm -hmm. to be something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, nothing's wrong. Either you know, opportunities I was presented with, I wasn't comfortable with, or things just kind of fell through. So he's like, well, we work together well, and you have a lot of potential. Would you be interested in working with me? Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know. You know, I don't know if I would be with you. Know, <laughs> let me sleep on it. Right. Of course I said yes. Uh -huh. And um, three weeks, uh, not three weeks, I, he flew me to Atlanta about a month after that. And about for three weeks, I stayed there. And he had a studio there. We did like 10 to 12 songs, trying to get my vibe and my, my feel as an artist. And then I signed to Compound University that summer. And then six months later, I signed to Columbia. Oh, my God. Girl, yeah, you having fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been the best thing of this entire journey thus far? Because, I mean, you've been in the game for a while. You know? right. You're not just fresh on the scene, spring chicken. Right. Um, just being able to share my music and, and get to talk about the things that I want to talk about. Um, you know, other when I'm working with other artists, I'm talking about what they want to talk about. Mm -hmm. So now getting ready, you know, sharing the experiences that I've been through with people that really like are close to me have been through is just incredible. For people to be able to connect to me and know that I'm a regular real person, you know, I'm mm -hmm. not trying to be anything like you said that I'm not, All and right. uh, I just want to share my story and have fun. Okay, so I have to ask you, you've worked with so many different people, you know what it's like to work with them, what do you think it's like to work with you? Uh, from what I'm, from what I hear, it's amazing to work <laughs> with me. I uh, know, um, a lot of people, like when I used to do demos and backgrounds, people said I was really easy to work with, I'm really chill, like I don't need a lot. I'm like, I don't need candles and dim lighting and all that. Some people work better Cranberries like that. Cranberries and almonds. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I don't need all that. I'm just like, you know, as long as I'm not hungry, I'm good. You know, it's just like I'm easy to work with. I, I like to have fun in the studio, but I like to get the work done. So when is the album coming out? Fingers crossed. We don't have a uh, date yet, but we're mm -hmm. looking at June. Uh, it's called Love Always, and I'm just 
super, super excited to get it out. We have a single out right now, Better Be Good. And it's um, on 106 in Park, the front singing oh. it over there. <laughs> it's on uh, the countdown, made a countdown a couple times, so keep everybody keep voting for it. Let's get it to number one. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited about everything that's going on. Well, thank you so much yeah. for coming through, Thanks girl. Thanks for having me. And if you have in the capital city, we go to the bar, get some drinks. It ain't going to be like L.A. I'm not opposed to having a drink or two. All right. Make sure that you bring your winter coat because it might be cold. <laughs> See, it's ready. Ready. <laughs> All right. And make sure that you guys check out and always keep their eye out for Love Always. Um, you guys, where can you find you on Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff? Okay. Uh, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. I run them all. Um, they're all the same. I'll try to keep it simple. At It's Ravon. I T S R A V A U G H N. My website is itsravon.com. Ravon. Get it right, it's too. Ravon. Ravon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, should we just I don't, holla back? Peace out. Peace. Peace. Sure. I don't glee. The one really? that. Yeah.